on this thing it's just filthy so look where I'm getting I'm kind of just starting to go medieval on this field and just going fast and scraping a lot and I'm just dragging the disc behind me and just busting everything up as I go um, I'm going to have a few divots to fill, like right there, um, but this is my last day with this machine and I've got to get this land clear, so it's working. I still have more to go, but I finally feel like I've done what I came here to do. Last day at the office. My rental's up today. Oh, cause baby, you're my all-time high. Fly me right up into the sky. I'm your rocket man. And I don't ever want to come down. Nah. Ooh, you taste like heaven. You turn my knob right to eleven. Oh, you make me feel so right. Cause baby, you're my all-time high. Man, this has been a fun project. Look at the shine on that plow. Ooh. Well, all good things must come to an end, I suppose. can't really say they don't make them like they used to because I don't have a clue when this was made and it's definitely showing its age it's got moss all over it and everything else and it it worked really well for what it was uh, it probably would have been fine but then I decided I'd just throw that drag on even without any um, any tines down, just to help kind of smooth out the, the ground. But I guess it's time to just back drag and, and do work that way. Um, there's really no hardware store around, but that's fine. So one of the guys ended up showing up to take down these trees. Uh, he, he used to work construction and knows the owner of this site and was just looking to looking to have a little fun before the equipment left. So there were two guys. One ended up being too busy, so I guess he gets two trees now. I guess I'm losing my last nap in shade. So thanks for following along, um, if you have. Um, this has been great for me to kind of just document how I'm doing this um, and actually learning a little bit as I go just watching the watching the um, process it's uh, it's been a lot of fun it's also hard work I do have to admit that um, I mean long hours and I've been coming home just whooped kind of take a shower in the pool and relax for the night
While I'm sitting here hunting and winterizing the camper, I'll save you the time and just say the guy that was a professional didn't really know what he was doing. Um, he kept trying to chop the tree down instead of using the top weight to uh, become leverage and dig the root ball out. And I had to stop him a few times and be like, hey man. Uh, you're just doing more harm than good. This is how you should be doing it. So carry on Three down three down Got to fill that hole in. Do a little more stripping what we can. And just level some ground. Take off the high spots. And then we got to get this thing fueled back up. But I don't have Grandpa's truck today, so we got 10 gallons at a time. And the fuel station is about an eighth of a mile down the road. So we'll just go back and forth with the pickup truck. Hey buddy, I don't think you got a home much anymore. Maybe he does have a home. Should I turn around for a second? He's gone. I can't find him. Hmm. So I'm working this thing real hard. And just crawling around in like 1800 RPMs and when it's running over here there's a stop sign big red red alert right here and over here there's a little book with a wrench and I went into the menu and looked at the active codes and it's throwing an ECU code so um, I'm literally just Dragging around trying to take care of some of these divots um, But otherwise this job is done And I'm kind of just waiting for a call back from the equipment company to see if I can Keep going or if I need to just halt um, But thanks again for watching